good noon all in this video i am going to explain you how to take the attendance details that is a present and absent candidate details for the candidates who have appeared for the examination to take the present and absent candidate details we need to get the final candidate data that is nothing but the candidates who have enrolled for the exams that is for they, those who are paid uh, for uh, writing the exam on the current run Uh, for each and every run the exams will be held of held on two dates for example the july run the exams held on july 6 and july 12 so we need to get the candidate data for those for the candidates who are registering for the exam on two dates so this overall candidate data will be sent to all other iits from nptel once you receive the overall candidate data this has to be rearranged in a particular order based on the final candidate data template this template will be shared to all the candidates and all the other iits which needs to which has in which the data has to be rearranged based on this order so once you receive the final candidate data this final candidate data will be shared to you in four files in this order these are the files first november offline for example i am taking the november exam candidate data so for the next run march run you will be getting the candidate data for the particular exam dates so this is the first november offline candidate data first november online data eighth november offline data and eighth november online data likewise you will be getting the candidate detail for the march run like march march first or the exam date will be differ so offline data and online data will be based on the dates so once you receive the candidate data you need to arrange these in the for in this template in course wise manner so i'm going to take the online candidate data the candidate data will be sent to you in this format what you need to do is we are going to rearrange it i'm going to arrange it for one particular course so i am doing a filter here i am going to collect the final candidate data for language and society course so after doing this filter copy these details and arrange it in this order applicant name next what we need is the date of birth email id application sequence number participant id in this data they have not given the participant id so the participant id will also be given to you from the participant id will be given to you from the tcs this participant id will be given to you from the tcs so keep this um cells as blank the hall ticket number will be given in the final candidate data copy this details and then hold follow the hall ticket number the course name you can mention it here since we are taking this uh, final candidate data separately course wise separately in the course wise manner so we can rename this sheet as the course name as language and society
now I have renamed this Excel based on the course name so we need to take this um, details final candidate data details separately in the course wise manner and then the second one since as a course name is needs to be mentioned here um, language and society the course ID will also be given here the exam date is November 1 so I have mentioned here they have given this test center name city actually the exam test center city and state has not been given over here so we can take these details from the attendance sheet which will be given to us from the TCS once we receive the attendance details so we are going to leave these also blanks this participant ID needs to be kept blank test center state and city also we can keep it as a blank one so these details we can take it from the online attendance online and the offline attendance so these are first details first candidate data details for 8th one for 8th online data again we need to do a filter here copy this email ids and then the whole application sequence number ticket number course name course ID remains the same then the exam date And the test center state and city needs to be kept blank so we have taken the final candidate data for the course language and society for the remaining courses we need to take in the similar format only so whatever details we are going to take like attendance details or the score details whatever details we are going to take it further we need to take in the same format as that of this final candidate data template these fields remains to be in the same order as that of this this need not be changed further so this is a final candidate data we have kept ready then what we have to do is likewise we need to take the final candidate data for offline candidates also So this candidate data has been kept ready now and then we are going to map up with the attendance so you will be receiving the attendance also 
in separate sheets for first number you will be receiving a separate online attendance sheet and for eighth attendance eighth exam online you will be getting a separate attendance sheet so then what you need to do is we you need to combine the first and eighth online attendance in the same order as that of this this template needs to be followed in all the sheets so now I'm going to take the name name and uh, date of birth email ID Application sequence number In this sheet also the participant ID is missing. So actually we will be giving you the participant ID separately from the next run. This participant ID will be given to you. So there won't be any problem for you to get this participant ID in this attendance sheet. So in this attendance template whatever you receive from the TCS will have the participant ID. So for the demo purpose, since I don't have the participant ID, I am doing it here separately. And then the hall ticket number. Course name is language and society. This course ID needs to be copied here. The center name, city and state will also be given. For uh, eighth number, also I have taken all the details over here. Hence, attendance template, attendance template for the course language and society has been kept ready. All these. Uh, details has to be filled in the order as of this template so now what we need to do is we need to map the present and absent candidate details also copy this attendance here
Hence, the attendance details has also been kept ready in this attendance template. Now, what we need to do is we need to map up with the final candidate registered data. This is to cross check whether the present and absent candidate count matches with the total registered count. So, what you need to do is take this attendance template sheet and the final candidate data sheet. Thank you.